Pong pinagpalang araw at magandang pinagpalang umaga sa ating lahat. This is our morning prayer. Welcome po kayong lahat sa ating sama-samang pagtulog sa Diyos sa pananalangin sa pamamagitan po ng pakikinig ng kanyang mabiyayang salita. Prayer, ang ating unang naunawaan before is talking with God. Tama po yan. 
Malawa, prayer is connecting our spirit to the Spirit of God. Tama po yan. Prayer is uh, bringing our request before God. Tama po yan. Balit, as the revelation increases, prayer is listening to God. Di ko po makakalimutan, palagi meron pong isang lumapit nagtanong sa akin, Pastor, paano po yan? Eh, nakalagay sa Matthew chapter 6, bago pa tayo lumapit, eh, alam na ng Diyos ang ating pangangailangan. So bakit pa tayo magpipray? Napakagandang tanong. Which leads me to a uh, discovery of uh, revelation from God. That prayer is listening to God. Tama ho. Alam na ng Diyos ang lahat natin pangailangan bago pa tayo lumapit sa Kanya. That is why He wants us to come to Him in prayer so that He will be able to release the now word, the, 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 the revelation for the solution of all our problems. That is why we need really to pray. So, pagka hindi po natin ito alam, kadalasan ho, tayo po ay nag, na, tinatawag natin prayer but we are really reporting lang giving God our needs, uh, asking Him to help us, and then we sealed our prayer in the name of Jesus, then that's it. So natapos po ang panalangin natin, wala po tayo na-receive na instruction. Why? Because most of the time, hindi po naituro sa atin kung paano po dapat ang tamang aspeto ng panalangin ay pakikinig sa sinasabi ng Diyos. And this, in this area, many of believers today miss this powerful and vital Uh, part sa pananalangin and that is listening to God. To give you a clear uh, example in the in the book of uh, if not mistaken Exodus okay makita natin when Moses received a clear instruction from God especially on the building up of the tabernacle it was God who designed the tabernacle and even the interior design sa tabernacle Dios po ang siyang uh, nagdesenyo nito. Ibig sabihin, Moses was just listening while God is talking. In prayer, it is a two-way communication. Hindi po ito monolog. Ito po ay dialog. Ibig sabihin, when you speak to God, take time to listen. to His instructions. Why? Because our God is a talkative God. He wants to speak. You read the Bible from the book of Genesis. Okay? Makita ninyo, kahit ho sa New Testament, God loves to speak to His people. The problem is we are too much engrossed, too much, uh, kumbaga na fortify, na build sa atin, na establish na yung religious mindset. that prayer is just giving our request before God, then that's it. It's not prayer. It's just expressing your needs before Him. Reporting, yung iba nagdi-declaim pa. Oh, great God, mighty God, creator of heaven. Para nagdi-declaim. Sensya na ako kayo ah, pero maganda itong entrada natin. Let's put prayer in the right context. It is listening to the instructions of God, to the revelations from God. Because the moment we receive the revelation and instruction from God, then all our needs will be met, all problems will have solutions, and we will be able to overcome, you know, overcome every situation na dumarating o kinakaharap natin. Malinaw ho? So purihin ng Panginoon sa Umagang ito, sisimulan po natin muna sa isang pananalangin sa Diyos. And after nating manalangin, eh, makinig po tayo sa sasabihin sa atin ng Panginoon sa araw na ito. So this is just one way or one aspect in uh, prayer. You know? But in your personal prayer time, alat or set aside time. to listen to God. I guarantee you, God loves to speak because what we are doing is not our work. What we are doing is not our ministry. It's His ministry. It's His work. So therefore, 
we need His divine guidance, divine revelations, in order for us to fulfill our God-given assignment, in order for us to reach our God-given destiny. Where in the world? Hindi po matatapos ng tao ang sinisimula ng Diyos. Kaya nga sabi sa Philippians 1.6, He who started the good work in you will be faithful to complete it. Hindi kayang tapusin ng tao ang sinimula ng Diyos. That is why marami ho ang nauwi sa kapaguran, ang iba ho nauwi sa frustration. Bakit? Because we are trying to finish what God had started. Ano ibig ko sabihin? Ang Diyos ang nagsimula sa ating buhay, ang Diyos ang nagsimula para dalhin tayo sa ministero na ating kinalalagyan o sa isang gawain. And then we are trying to do our own thing without asking His leading and guidance. Although we pray, but again, because of wrong understanding about prayer, we just want, we are just expressing what we are going to do. And then we ask Him to bless out the works of our hands. It cannot be. Because kung gawain ng Diyos ang ginagawa mo, mahalaga matanggap mo ang instruction ng Diyos kung paano gagawin yung gawain niya. Paano ito matapos? Paano ito maging matagumpay? Kailangan ang partisipasyon ng Diyos at hindi ang partisipasyon. Kailangan, kailangan talaga. It's compulsory. It is non-negotiable. Kailangan. Problem, wala tayong clear understanding. Kaya sabi ng Pahino, my people perish because of lack of knowledge. So we're trying to finish what God had started. Again, it's impossible. So, Entering 2023, it's a good thing, you know. Simula pa lang ng taon ito. So mahalaga na na-establish na kaagad natin ano ba dapat natin gawin. Mahalaga, there's a clarity of purpose. Okay, ang gagawin ko ngayon, makikinig sa Diyos. At anong sasabihin ng Diyos, yun ang priority ko. Laging tandaan, marami ho tayong, marami ho sa priority, sa priority natin sa paggawa, sa pinapagawa ng Diyos, maraming distraction. If you entertain distractions, then it will delay the fulfillment of God's wonderful plan over your life. Pag magpatuloy pa rin, na-entertain mo pa rin yung mga distraction, magpapatuloy ang delay, madi-derail na. Okay? Kung baga sa railis pa ng train, nadi-discarrel yung train, hindi makarating. At anong mangyayari? Number four, it will destroy your destiny. There will be an abortion of destiny yet. Hindi po kagagawan ng Diyos yan. Kagagawan po natin lahat. That is why God is sending ministers to give, you, to give you clarity of understanding of the things that we are used to do. Marami ho tayong ginagawa. Alam niyo ho, meron po isang pastor ako narinig ang sabi niya, kung ang sagot lang sa lahat ng pangailangan ng tao, prayer, at yung prayer na ginagawa natin, kung ang prayer lang is convertible to cash, ang dami ng bilyonaryong mananampalataya ngayon. Kaso hindi ho eh. In the first place, the way we pray is not accurate. Okay? Kaya nga ho, yung iba sa atin, pray na lang ng pray, walang nangyayari, tinanggap na lang natin, at sinasabi natin, hindi pa kalooban ng Diyos. Alam niyo ho, anong, anong kalooban ng Diyos? To give us life and have it to the full, abundant life. Yan ho ang kalooban ng Diyos. Kaya nga, mahalaga, mayroong kayong napapakinggan na talagang accurate na pangaral based on the Word of God. That will open your spirit and lead you towards your breakthrough. Nagkano ang po tayo? So listen to God. Let us come to Him in prayer. Father God, we thank you for giving us this wonderful opportunity, privilege, to come before you in prayer. Thank you that we have the freedom and we have the opportunity to express our needs to you. But Lord, most especially, we thank you for the revelation today that what we need is to listen every time we come to you in prayer. It is more on listening rather than speaking because the right and accurate way of praying is allowing God to do the talking. Let God do the talking. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I pray that this revelation, this truth will set your people free. This truth will heal all wounds that your people experienced. In the name of Jesus, I also pray that you will open our spirit, continue to uh, enlarge its capacity in order for us to receive the impartation of the now word of God. We bless you. We worship you. 
we glorify your name in all the earth be exalted in all the earth be enthroned in all the earth be glorified to you alone the glory to you alone the praise now and forevermore be exalted O God from the beginning to the end of this study we will already come to you this time we ask you Father God in the name of our Lord and King Jesus Christ through the leading of God Holy Spirit speak to us today through your powerful word this is our prayer in the powerful name of Jesus Christ our Lord and all the blessed people of God declare Amen and Amen and Amen sa inyo pong kinalalagyan palapakan po natin ang Panginoon glory to God so when it comes to prayer we should have a clear pattern sino ba? Okay, ano ba pattern? Kailangan ho clear sa atin. Kasi ho wala hong mayroong mastery pagdating sa prayer maliban sa ating Panginoon at hari ang Panginoong Hesus Kristo. So, as we enter 2023 and as we establish our prayer life, it is very clear and important to know the accurate pattern. That is why today our message is entitled The Jesus Pattern of Prayer. Kung mayroon mang pinaka-perfectong pattern na dapat nating sundan sa aspeto ng pananalangin, ito'y walang iba kundi ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. So kung handa na po kayo, samahan niyo po ako. The accurate way of investing our time Always keep yourself in the spirit of prayer. In the book of 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 17, sa NIV na pakaiksi, ang sabi po, pray continually. Pray continually. Sa King James Version, pray without ceasing. Keep on praying. May big sabihin. Kaya na nating entrada kanina, what is prayer? Listening. So keep on listening. To the instructions of God. Keep on listening to the guidance of God. Yan lang po ibig sabihin yan. Ibig sabihin, you keep in tune. You fine-tune your spirit. You fine-tune your ears to the voice of God. Marami ang nagsasabi, hindi na po ang Diyos nagsasalita. Sino kang magsabing hindi na ang Diyos nagsasalita? It was written in the Bible. God loves to speak. He spoke to Noah, he spoke to Abraham, he spoke to Jacob, he spoke to Isaac, he spoke to David, he spoke to Samuel, he spoke to Paul. God loves to speak. That is why, keep on listening. Continually. Pray, with, pray continually, pray without ceasing. Listen continually. Do not cease listening to God. Nagata niyo, pagka Lumalalim na ho ang inyong kapahayagan at inyong kaunawaan. So dito, hindi mo na titingnan kung ano yung uh, ano bag... Sa ating kasi ang prayer, mayroon na tayong preconceived ideas. Pag nagpipray tayo, kinakahon natin ang Diyos sa sagot na gusto natin. Hindi ho tama yan. Ulitin ko, marami ho mga nagpipray, kinahon na nila ang Diyos na ito yung dapat gawin mo, Lord. Ha? Ito dapat yung sagot. Ha? Hindi, no, 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 no. God is an unpredictable God. Hindi siya predictable. Kaya kung anong ini-expect mo na mangyayari sa sagot ng prayer mo, hindi yun ang gagawin ng Diyos. Bakit? E Diyos pang tawag mo sa Kanya kung mapipredict, mapipredict mo naman yung Kanyang gagawin. That is why God always work in a supernatural way. Na kung siya gagawa, tiyak ikaw ay mamamangha. Nagkaon naman po tayo. So, pray continually. Listen continually to God. Matthew 26, 41. Ang sabi ng Panginoong Jesus, Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing but the flesh is weak. Another function ng prayer, ano? Ang sabi ng Panginoon, Watch and pray. Big sabihin, maging alerto. Sa area ho ng pananalangin, mag-bank in po tayo doon sa malalim ho na kapahayagan sa panalangin and that is listening to God. Ibig sabihin, maging alerto tayo at palagi naka-fine-tune, naka-tune in ang ating tenga 
spiritual ears, spiritual hearts sa Diyos. Bakit? Because in this world, you will be hearing different voices. The voice of the world, the voice of yourself, your flesh, the voice of the devil, the voice of the people, and the voice of God. Kaya nga ho, ang mundo napakaingay, napakaraming sinasabi, napakaraming daing, na kung saan pag hindi ka matalas at hindi ka nagpakalalim sa spiritual mong kalalagayan, you will never, you will be having a difficult time to hear the voice of God because it is a still small voice. But that still small voice, pag ikaw ay spiritually established, you're spiritually uh, empowered, that still small voice will become a very loud voice in your spirit. Nagkanawan po tayo. So sabi ng Panginoon, watch and pray, be vigilant. Always pray, always listen to what God is saying so that you will not fall into temptation. Nakita niyo, madalas na natin ito nababasa. So we just keep on praying, Lord, ilayo niyo po kami sa mga tukso. Hindi po pwede ganun ang prayer. The moment you pray, dahil mayroon kang kinakaharap, may tuksong dumarating, ano lang gagawin mo? You, give, you listen to God's instruction, what to do? Flee! O, di, di alis agad. O itong gagawin mo, ma, ma, mayroon gagawin, mayroon sinasabi ang Diyos sa bawat kinakaharap natin. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Prayer or listening to the instructions of God will empower your spirit that will enable you to overcome the flesh. Yan po ang ibig sabihin yan. Madalas ating nasasabi, ah, ibig sabihin, pagod lang talaga ako, eh. gusto ko naman mag-pray, yung spirito ko willing, yung, yung katawan ko hindi, kaya natulog na lang ako. Pinakamababaw po yan. Pinakamababaw na interpretasyon sa versikulong ito. Dahil ang pinaka-accurate na interpretation dito, every time you are vigilant and ready to listen to the voice of God, to the instructions of God, to the revelations from God, then temptation has no way to trap you. At ano pa? The spirit is willing but the flesh is weak. The moment you listen and receive the accurate instructions and revelations from God, it will empower your spirit that will enable you to overcome the flesh. Even how weak, how weak your flesh is, the moment the spirit is so strong because of the word, because of the revelation and guidance that you receive from God, then the spirit will now be able to control and overcome all the flesh desires. Yan po ibig sabihin yan. Kaya pagka ikaw ay may dumarating na yung temptation, dumarating na yung, kat, yung iyong laman ay gusto nang bumigay doon sa sobrang lakas ng Espiritu mo dahil nakatangkap ka sa pananalangin mo ng guidance at revelation ng Diyos. Ano nangyayari? It's so easy for you to overcome the flesh. Mali na ho. Mababaw ho yung napagod ako kagabi kaya nakatulog na ako, hindi na ako nagpag-pray. Willing ako mag-pray pero yung, yung aking laman ay mahina talaga. Tinanggap natin yung ganyan pangatwiran, kaya puro na lang tayo sorry sa Panginoon. But the moment yung prayer tama sa iyo, na inunaunawahan mo na ang Diyos ay mangungusap sa iyo, bakit si Kristo hindi natutulog? Bakit si Kristo na overcome niya sa Garden of Gethsemane, sinasabi niya, kumari po, nangusap yung laman niya, ha? kumari itong saraw ng paghihirap kasi wala naman talaga siyang kasalanan, siya ay banal, kung pwede lumagpas. Yun ang flesh. Yun ang sabi niya, but not my will. But let your will be done. Napansin nyo? His spirit was so strong that he was able to overcome the desires of the flesh. Yan po ang ibig sabihin yan. Kaya nga, be vigilant. Watch and pray. Watch and continually listen to what God is saying. Para ho maliwanag, marami hong kaparaanan ang pangungusap ng Diyos. Una, sa pamamagitan ng kanyang salita. Kaya mahalaga, nagbabasa, nag-aaral tayo salita ng Diyos. Sila man pinag-aralan, minimeditate natin, ina-apply. Isang paraan, pangungusap. Pangalawa, sa pamamagitan ng kanyang mga lingkod. May mga lingkod ng Diyos na ipapadala para mangusap sa iyo. Malinaw ho. Pangatlo, pwede ho sa iyong pananalangin. Mayroon tinatawag tayong impression. In the spirit. 
Wala ka mamarinig na audible voice, but I strongly believe, and I believe with all my heart and spirit, that one day God will going to speak to us with this audible voice. Why? Because it happens, and it is written in the Word of God. In the book or in the New Testament, sabi ng iba, wala na sa New Testament, eh, puro word na lang. No, 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 no. When Paul and his companions go into Asia Minor, the Spirit of Jesus Christ, our Lord and King, spoke to him. Nagkata niyo, ang sabi, pinagbabawalan sila ng Espiritu ni Jesus, nangusap sa pamamagitan ng vision. God speak, and then the Holy Spirit spoke to them, separate for me, Paul and Barnabas. For, for, I have a special, uh, I have a task for them, just para praising. So makita niyo, nangungusap ang Diyos. Clear as crystal. Kailan yun? Nung sila nananalangin at nag-fast. When they do prayer and fasting, God, the, God, the Holy Spirit spoke to them. Bakit sa kanila nangungusap at sa atin hindi? Why? Because yung ating understanding ay hindi po accurate. Mga kapatid, you can just imagine kung lahat tayo nakarinig sa sinasabi ng Diyos, lahat ng ginagawa natin ay talagang accurate, tama, at mayroong resulta. Sala po ito sabihin yan. Don't get offended. No? Clear na clear po ito pag pinag-uusapan natin. Pag ka mayroong ginagawa at sinasabi mo para sa Diyos pero walang naganap, walang nangyari, sa lang ibig sabihin yan, hindi galing sa Diyos. Maaring galing sa'yo at gusto mo lang. If nobody will tell you this, you will keep on doing what you're doing and then you're expecting a different result. Sabi ni Einstein, it is insane or insanity to expect new results while you're doing the same thing. That is why clear dapat, intrada ng taon, maliwanag dapat ang ating purpose, maliwanag ang ating understanding para maliwanag din ang resulta na ating ini-expect or resulta na ating matatanggap. Malinaw ho. Malinaw. So dito pinapakita sa atin ng Panginoon. Pangungusap niya sa kanyang salita, sa kanyang lingkod, at nangungusap po siya sa impression sa ating puso, maging sa personal, yung audible voice. Mangyayari po yan. Hindi ang Diyos nagbabago noon ngayon at magpakailanman. When He spoke to David, He spoke to Isaac, He spoke to Abraham, He spoke to Gideon. He spoke to the different men of God. He's the same God. He loves to speak. Pero bakit hindi Diyos ang uusap? Kasi hindi po ready ang kanyang mga anak na makinig, lalo tigit sa lahat, hindi po fine-tune yung revelation na natanggap. That is why nakahon tayo sa isang relihiyosong pananalangin na tayo nang tayo nagkasalita at tinatapos natin ang prayer sa pangalan ng Panginoong Jesus believing that everything is fine without receiving, without listening to the instructions and revelations from God. So nothing happens. Again, balik na naman tayo ng bukas. Ang ganun uli. Hanggang sa lumipas ang mga panahon, taon, maraming nasasayang. Ngayon, mahalaga ho na maunawaan natin, makinig tayo sa sasabihin ng Diyos, magitan ng kanyang salita, direkta ho yun, sa pamamagitan ng kanyang mga lingkod, sa pamamagitan ng impression sa ating espiritu. The Spirit bears witness with your spirit. Very clear yan. Ano pa ho? Circumstances. Yung mga circumstances natin, nangungusap ang Diyos dyan. Push ka ng push ng isang gawain. Push ka ng push ng isang negosyo. Push ka ng push ng ito yung gusto mo mangyari. Wala na nga nangyayari. It's a clear. Uh, a clear message. God is sending you a clear message. Hindi yan. Tigil mo yan. Nagkanawan tayo. Kung mayroon mang nag-aasam at pinakamasaya na magtagumpay ka, walang iba kundi ang ama nating nasa langit. Magulang ho ang pinakamasaya sa bawat tagumpay na nakakamit ng kanyang mga anak. That is why we pray to God and that we want to do things on our own. Hindi po ang Diyos pwede. Mahirap at imposible sumunod ang Diyos sa isang mortal na tao na walang alam at kapus ang kaalaman. Unless and until the, the person or the man, the man, realized na kailangan niyang gabay ng Diyos at hindi siya dapat magbida-bida, kundi ang Diyos ang bida at manguna, siya ay susunod lamang, doon niya matitikman ang breakthrough at blessing na matagal niyang inaasam. Malinaw? Tuloy natin. 
Luke 21, 34 to 36. And Zambi, be careful on your hearts will be weighed down with carousing, drunkenness, and anxieties of life. And that day will close on you suddenly like a trap. For it will come on all those who live in the face of the whole earth. Be always on the watch and pray that you may be able to escape all that is about to happen. And that you may be able to stand before the Son of Man. It's a warning given to us by God. Why? Because whether we like it or not, this world. Kintensyado na ang mundong itong ating kinalalagyan. Mayroon na po itong katutunguhan ayon sa salita ng Diyos. Matthew 24, makita niyo kung paano ang maging kalalagayan nito. 1st, 2nd Peter 3, 8, Luke 21, 34-36. Kaya sabi ng Panginoon, mag-ingat kayo na ang inyong mga puso ay hindi mabibigatan at ma mapupuno ng alin. Karawsing. Karamihan mo sa mga tao ngayon, puro, ka, puro na lang ho, laman, kahalayan, at mga bagay-bagay na magsasatisfy sa kanilang Really. I still remember, you know, 2020 when pandemic hit the whole world. People are singing, praising God on the parking lot, kneeling on the streets, kahit sa mga grocery store, kahit sa mga malalaking tindahan ng mga groceries, ang mga pinapatugtog ay mga talaga mga awitin na para sa Diyos. Pero nang lumuwag, Pagdating ng 2022, pagdating ng 20, later ng 2021, party-party uli. Walang pinagkaibang mga tao sa Old Testament, sa mga Israelita noon, maging sa ngayon. Wala nang lumulhod sa parking lot, wala nang umaawit. Dati mga awitin para sa Diyos, Lord heal our land. This time, balik sa mga basura, walang kwentang mga awitin na may iba nagmumura pa. Nasaan na? Ang tao ay marupok. Mabilis lumimot. That is why prayer played a vital role in our lives. Because it will keep our feet standing on a solid ground, unshakable ground, which is the Word of God. Why? Because prayer is listening to the Word of God. Just like today. You're listening to the Word of God. And this is prayer. You are a, you're giving time, naglaan ka ng panahon para makinig sa salita ng Diyos. Prayer ho ito. Maray ba siya'y nagtatanong, asan yung prayer dyan? Kasi nasanay ka sa religious na paraan. Ang prayer, pikit mata, salita sa Diyos. Then after that, walang na-receive, walang napakinggan, then you, you seal your prayer in the name of Jesus, believing, having faith, that everything will be fine. No! Kaya napapansin mo, walang nangyayari. Bakit? Wala ka naman tinanggap eh. Wala kang tinanggap na salita mula sa Diyos. Wala kang tinanggap na kapahayagan buhat sa Diyos. Hindi prayer yun. Ulitin ko, prayer is a dialogue, not a monologue. You speak to God, God will speak to you. And every time God speak to you, then that's the answer to all your needs. If you have problem, that's a solution. If you have questions, that's the answer. Amen. God is able to provide it for you. Are you willing to listen? So sabi ng Panginoon, ingat. Kasi marami, oh, ang sabi, carousing, drunkenness. Itong mga pinapakita na ito sinasabi ng Panginoon, ito yung time ni Noah. At ang sabi ng Bible, when the Son of Man returns, it, it would be like the days of Noah where people are carousing, drunkenness, giving into marriage. Puro laman. Wala na napapakinggan tungkol sa Diyos. Purihin ng Panginoon. Merong isang tao na nakikinig sa Diyos. At dahil siya nakikinig at handang makinig sa Diyos, nangungusap sa Kanya ang Diyos. Then God said to Noah, no, tell me now, kahit pa tayo dumating sa mga krusyal at napakahirap na kalalagay, dumating na ang mundo sa malapit na paghuhukom ng Diyos, mangungusap ang Diyos sa mga tao na handang makinig at mga tao na pinapanatili ang kanilang katuwiran at kabanalan sa harapan ng Diyos. Kanyo nga, at ang sabi ng Bible, God saved Noah and his family. Itong kagandahan eh, pag nakakatanggap ka ng kapahayag at narinig mo 
ang pangungusap paggabay at kapahayagan ng Diyos. Hindi lamang ikaw maliligtas, kundi pati ang iyong mga mahal sa buhay. Today, my friends, as we start 2023, let us be clear in our purpose. There should be clarity of purpose, clarity of strategies, clarity of understanding with regards to God's Word para hindi na natin maulit yung mga pagkakamali natin sa mga nakaraan. At ano pa? Ano pa ang mangyayari sa bandang uli? Anxieties of life. At ang sabi, and that they were close on you suddenly like a trap. Pagbibigay ng laya, salaman, at paglalasing, at mga, ito matindi, ta may tama rito, pati mananampalataya, anxieties of life. Mga alalahanin sa buhay. Napakaraming alalahanin sa buhay. Maybe some of you listening to me right now, you have this also, anxieties of life. Why? Because you're trying, ha? you're trying, you're trying to do things and uh, provide things. <laughs> My God, mga kapatid. Anak ka ng Diyos. Tinubos ka ng Panginoong Jesus. Tapos pabayaan ka lang. Imposible yun. Anong kailangan mong gawin? Pray. Ano prayer? Listen to Him. Para malaman mo ang dapat mong gawin. Para ma-receive mong instruction. Para makaalis ka dyan sa kumunoy na kinalalagyan mo kung mananampalataya ka talaga. Nagkaintindihan tayo. Sons and daughters of the living God, but sinking in poverty. Sons and daughters of the living God, but sinking in the world system. What happened to you? Ano sa God? Prayer. Ano prayer? Listening to God. My friends, some of you are listening to me right now. You're, you have, you're having anxieties in life. Paano yung pag-aaral mga anak ko? Mga katapos mo sila? Paano yung mga pangailangan namin? Don't you know that you are a citizen of heaven? And your economy is not dependent on this world. But it is dependent on the economy of heaven. And in the economy of heaven, there is no such thing as shortage. There is no such thing as crisis. There is only one thing with regard to the economy of heaven. Abundance. Kung ito ang naintindihan mo, ito narinig mo. Ano mangyayari? Mangihina ka pa? Maapektuhan ka pa? Maybe, saglit, maapektuhan ka. Well, tao ka eh. Pero, pag iiyon ang tayuan, ang sinasabi ng salita ng Diyos, that I will never leave you, nor forsake you, I will rescue you, I will be your shield. Ano mangyayari? Tapos ang laban. At ikaw ngayon ay magiging pamantayan ng mga taong nakapalibot sa'yo. Sasabihin nila, bakit kami hirap, pati ikaw hindi? Ba't kami nangangatal na sa takot, pati ikaw payapang payapa. Then your life will become attractive to them and they will come to you and ask you anong pwede namin gawin para maranasan din ang nangyayari katulad sa'yo. Then, it's an open door for you to share the gospel. Marinaw, for it will come on all those who live on the face of the whole earth. Di po sinasabing, it will only come to the wicked. It will only come not to the born-again believers. But it will come to all who live on the face of the earth, of the whole earth. Nandito tayo kasama. Kaya hindi po tayo exempted. Kung mayroon, katulad ng pandemic, hindi exempted ng church, hindi exempted ng mga mananampalataya. Ang kaibahan lang, nung bumaba yung pandemic, covered. Okay, covered ang mga mananampalataya. May shield. Sila galing sa Panginoon. Eh, bakit mayroon mga mananampalatayang namatay? Ay, dala ng ignorance. Why? Because they disregard, neglect what the government told them. Huwag muna mag-gather. Huwag muna mag- wag, wag muna mag-gather at uh, mag-mask palagi. Anong sabi ng mga hyper-faith? Hyper yung faith. Anong sabi? Eh, hindi tayo tatablan. God is our shield. O, di patay sila. Mga kapatid, as you begin 2023, make sure you have the clarity of understanding. Because the moment you have the clarity of understanding, then execution or application of the word will become accurate. And if accurate application 
happens, there will be also accurate results that will propel and that will advance you towards your breakthrough. Oh, my friends, this is the word of God. God speaking to us today. Be always on the watch. Be vigilant ulit. And pray. And all in prayer, be always on the watch. Be vigilant and always listen to God that you may be able to escape all that is about to happen. How can you escape sa isang trap? Kailangan may narinig ka na ano, na paraan para makatakas ka. Nagkaunawa na tayo. Hindi ka magpipray, Lord. Wag niyo po ako ngaya. Well, Lord, ilayo niyo pa ako. Anong ilayo? Gusto ka talaga ng Diyos ilayo. Makinig ka sa Kanya para malaman mo kung paano ka mailayo. Sa susunod natin pag-aaral, mayroon pang mas malalim na kahulagan ng pananalangin. Dito muna tayo mag-focus sa listening to God. You will be able to escape the moment you receive instructions. You will be able to escape the moment you receive God's divine guidance. And that you may be able to stand before the Son of Man. Bakit? Because all of us will stand before Him to give account. Ito na ho. Dito na ho magkakaalaman. It's so easy to claim, I'm a believer of Christ. I'm a Christian. Everybody's telling that. Even people, lalo na ho, specifically yung mga politicians. Ito po, I'm speaking with my own, uh, to my own, with my own experience. Nakita ko po nung mga nakaraang eleksyon, ang mga politiko, pag mayroong nangangaral na pastor at nagsishare, tanggap lang ng tanggap. Mayroong ang politiko ako nakita, eh talagang kung sino, ilang pastor ang nagpatanggap sa kanya at iba't ibang mga pastor, kahit na hindi Christian talaga, tanggap din. Bakit? Because they are not really after receiving Christ as their Lord and King and personal Savior. They're after the votes of the people. So pag born again ang pumunta, tanggap din siya. Bakit? Para makuha ang boto naman born again. Pag iba naman ang pupunta na, na grupo ng mga relihiyon, tatanggapin niya rin. Bakit? Kasi he is after the votes of the people. Kaya easy ho magsabing kristyano eh. Easy ho magsabi na ikaw ay you belong to a religious group. But the question is, pagharap mo, hindi ka haharap sa denominasyon. Hindi ka rin harap sa tao, haharap ka sa Diyos kay Kristo. Ang tanong, ready ka bang kumarap? We know ourselves. We know our weaknesses. That is why the only way for the weakness to be to be turned into strength we need a clear revelation a clear instruction from god so that we will be able to receive and apply it in our lives so that when we face the son of god the lord jesus christ we are we have the confidence to face him why because we live our lives according to his instructions according to his word. At ang sabi ng Panginoon sa John 15:5, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, you shall bear much fruit for without me you can do nothing. How can the word of God abide in you? By listening, meditating, applying Mga kapatid, this is the word of God for us this year. There should be clarity. Huwag po kayong pumayag at huwag po kayong magpatuloy sa inyong paglilingkod o ano man ang inyong gagawin, lalong-lalo na para sa Diyos nang hindi po klaro ang instruction at hindi po klaro na talagang ito ang gusto ng Diyos sa atin. Parang ko sinasabi, most of us, we offer something to God na gusto lang natin. Gusto ko maglingkod sa Diyos. Gusto mo yan. Tanong, gusto ba ng Diyos? Gusto kong gawin to para sa Diyos. Tanong, gusto mo ba? Gusto mo yan. Gusto ba ng Diyos? Si marami sa natin, binuos na natin lahat para sa Diyos. Yan ang gusto natin. Pero ang tanong, ano bang gusto ng Diyos? 
O ngayon pa yan nungod sa aking nagkasunod na araw na daily live streaming sa School of Church Builder, January 4 and January 5. Pinatakita po roon ano ang gusto ng Diyos. Ang gusto ng Diyos, yung buhay mo, hindi paglilingkod mo. Ang paglilingkod mo, bahagi lang ng buhay mo. But we concentrate and focus more on our service rather than giving our lives to Him. Kaya maganda yung pinakita natin na sa Revelation 2, 1 to 4 about the Church of Ephesus. Doon po sa New King James Version, ang subtitle sa kanila ay The Loveless Church. Pag sinasabing loveless church, grabe naman yun. Pero kung titignan mo yung kanilang mga traits and characteristics, masipag sila sa gawain, matala sa discernment, nagtsaga para sa Panginoon, hindi nang hina para sa kanyang pangalan. Pero ang sabi ng Panginoon, I have this something, I have this one thing against you. You have left your first love. Nakita nyo? Without a clear instruction, without clarity of God's divine revelation, gagawin natin ang mga gusto natin gawin eh. Na matalas, gusto lang natin, pero hindi gusto ng Diyos. Ang pinakamalapit na kalaban ng tama ay ang mabuti. Tama na ibigay ang buhay sa Diyos, tama na ibalik natin ang first up natin sa Diyos. Pero alam mo yung mabuti? Ministry. Alam mo yung mabuti, masipag ka sa gawain. Alam mo yung mabuti, masipag ka mangaral. Alam mo yung mabuti, marami kang mission sa pinupunta. Mabuti yun! Pero ang tanong, mahal mo pa ba ang Diyos katulad nung una? As we face God, laging tandaan na, ang Panginoong Jesus ang ating huling hantungan. Hindi yung kamatayan natin sa physical. Ang kamatayan sa physical, pasimula lang ng journey natin papunta sa ating huling hantungan. Ang pinaka-destiny at hantungan ng isang tao ay walang iba kundi si Kristo. Haharap tayo kay Kristo, ating pagsusulitan lahat ng ating ginagawa. Mabuti man o hindi, hayag man o lihim, ito'y ating pagsusulitan sa harapan ng Diyos. That is why, as we start the year 2023, with regards to prayer, it is more on listening. To God's word, to God's instructions. Why? Because the days are evil. Kapag hindi tayo maging maingat, isa tayo sa magiging biktima. According to Matthew 24, the, the false prophets, false teachers, and even false Christ will come. That even the very elect, pag hindi maging maingat, they will also be deceived. Mga kapatid, Ito na ho. I strongly believe the Lord is now taking the church to the highest level. Kung ibig mong makasabay sa highest level where God is preparing His church to invade the kingdoms of this world, to become the kingdom of our Lord, then sumabay tayo sa kapahayagan ng Diyos. Tanggapin natin ang pangangaral at ang salita ng Diyos and they keep on listening to God's instructions and divine revelation. Now, the Jesus pattern of prayer, dito tingnan natin. Tingnan muna natin ang characteristics ng Panginoong Jesus. Paano ba siya mananalangin? Ano ba ang kanyang pamamaraan sa pananalangin? Ano ba yung kanyang ginagawa? Kasi kung ating pag-aaralan, ang buhay ng Panginoong Jesus is a perfect model on earth. When it comes to his relationship with God, when it comes to the area of prayer, when it comes to the area of ministry, Jesus Christ, our Lord and King, as a perfect model, and he had proven kung anong klaseng ministry ang tagumpay sa mata ng Diyos na buhay. So, the prayer, prayer is the way of life of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, ang pananalangin ay lifestyle na ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. So, tingnan natin, ano ba yung matututunan natin sa pamamaraan ng Panginoong Jesus? Mark chapter 1, verse 35. In the early morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house, and went away to a secluded place and was praying there. 
So dito na makita natin. If you want to become strong, deep, rooted in the area of prayer, follow the pattern of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Early in the morning. Ang sinasabi yung early in the morning, while people are still sleeping. The Lord Jesus Christ. Ang sabi kasi ito, while it was still dark, so tulog pa talaga yung mga tao, Jesus got up. Patin po, mga kapatid, tumayo. Left the house, naglakad. Iniwan ng bahay, umalis sa bahay, naglakad, went away to a secluded place. Ano yung secluded place? A place, kumbaga, eh, pagsabing secluded place, isang tahimik na lugar. And was praying there. Mga kapatid, dito pa lang sa isang verse na ito, mayroon na tayong makukuha at masusundan na pattern this 2023. Hindi po sinasabi, kaya nga po hinalight ko yung early in the morning while it was still dark, Pinakita sa atin ng Panginoon, masarap at mainam na makikipag-usap sa Diyos at makinig sa Diyos sa isang tahimik at walang istorbo. Ibig sabihin, hahanap talaga tayo ng oras na hindi tayo may istorbo. Bakit? Para masolo tayo ng Diyos at masolo din natin ang Diyos. Ang ating sistema sa pananalangin sa ngayon, kung saan tayo abutan, hindi po masama yan. Tama rin po yan. Kasi you can pray anytime, anywhere. But if you want intimacy in prayer, there is a price to pay. You need to wake up early in the morning while others are sleeping, while still dark. Mayroong special na presyo na binabayaran ng Panginoong Iso Kristo. He got up. Habang tulog ang iba, tumatayo siya. Umaalis sa bahay. Pumupunta sa secluded place. A place na kung saan tahimik at doon siya nananalangin. Mga kapatid, itong, itong pattern na ito, hindi po ito pattern ng tao, pattern ni Kristo, na kung ating simulang gawin at i-apply, I strongly believe. Magtatanong tayo, bakit ganun ka-powerful ang kanyang ministry? Bakit sa isang salita, umaalis ang demonyo? Bakit sa isang panalangin, gumagaling? Sa isang deklarasyon, gumagaling ang may karamdaman? Bakit pag nangangaral, people were astonished? Why? Because of this. Maaring iba sa inyo, ngayon lang ito narinig. Mapalag po kayo mga nakarinig sa araw na ito. Because God is showing you the pattern. And the moment you receive the word and you receive the pattern, then you are now accountable and responsible to do it yourself. Early in the morning while still dark. My friends, this is the price to pay. This is the price if you want to do, you want to be Rooted, you want to be deep, you want to be strong in the area of prayer. He got up. Basta natin pa nag-pray sa higaan rin lang, kaya balik tulog agad, hindi pa mabilis eh. Magnet, magnet yung ating higaan eh. Para manumbalik. Tatawagin ang higaan natin, yung ating laman. But Jesus got up, left the house. In 2023, I challenge each one of us, including myself, that we need to find a place where we can meet God. Naalala ko ang kaesong proseso Marcelo. Meron siyang programa noon pang magati hardin ng panalangin. And I strongly believe, kung hindi ako nagkakamali, eh, yun po yung place na kung saan doon kinakatagpo ang Panginoon. Today, The challenge is being posted by God to us. Where is your place of meeting 
with God. Sa School of Church Builder, tinuturo sa atin a tent of meeting where the leaders, workers, and pastors meet. But in the personal context, taan ang meeting place ninyo ng Panginoon? Or mayroon ka bang meeting place with God? Iba sa atin, tumagal na lang sa pagiging mananampalataya. Wala tayong meeting place sa Diyos. That is why, puro informal yung meeting natin. Kaya kung saan-saan tayo inabot, doon tayo nananalangin. Tama rin po yan, ulitin ko. Pero kung gusto mong magbayad ng presyo para lumalim, umugat, maging malakas, para yung iyong pakikinig sa salita ng Diyos ay talagang accurate. At pag nareceive mo yung accurate revelation, accurate din ang iyong execution. Pag accurate ang iyong execution, accurate din ang magiging manifestation ng resulta. This year, let us set a place where we will meet God. Malinaw? Ito po ang paraan na ginawa ng Panginoon. A secluded place sa isang tahimik na lugar. Alam niyo, ang Diyos ay mabait sa atin, pinapakita ho sa atin. Mayroon tayong pattern, all truths are parallel. Sa isa pong mag-asawa, mas nagkakaroon kayo ng uh, masinsinan or entemacy na conversation sa bawat isa where you can open everything to your spouse, to your wife, or to your husband. Bakit? Dalawa lang kayo at alam ninyo walang, walang, ano eh, walang istorbo at walang ibang nakikinig kundi kayong dalawa lang. Doon ka nagiging open. And I strongly believe sa pinakitang pattern dito ng Panginoon. In the place where you and God meet, doon mo na ibulalas, doon mo na sasabi ang gusto mong sabihin sa Diyos. Yung bang pag sinasabi mong I love you Lord, talagang mula sa kaibuturan ng iyong espiritu, ng iyong puso at isipan. Yung bang pag ikaw ay mayroong kabigatan na pag iyong sinishare sa Diyos, you're casting, you're casting all your cares to Him. You know na talagang sobrang, sobrang ramdam mo at ganas mo sa pananampalataya mo sa spirito mo na tinatanggap ng Diyos, kinukuha ang iyong kabigatan. The place of intimacy is the place where you and God meet just that two of you. Sanay tayo sa corporate prayer. Sanay tayo sa prayer na kung saan-saan. Tama po yan. Pero today, as we start 2023, God wants All of us to have a place of meeting with Him. Just you and God. Yan palagi sinasabi, time alone with God. We have a time with our family, time for our wife, our husband, but you need to set a time to be alone with God. At ito pong ginawa ng Panginoong Heso Kristo. Sanang meeting place ninyo ng Panginoon. There should be a meeting place for us and God. Napakagadang pattern po ito na pinapakita ng Diyos. At doon natin maririnig. Doon natin masamba. Doon natin mapuri. At doon natin maparangalan ng Diyos. Ubus lakas. Buong puso. Buong lakas. Buong pag-iisip. At buong kaluluwa. Ito ang kulang. Kaya nga po, sa mag-asawa, ako ang asawa ko, we, we, we are open. Kasi kami lang, alam kong kami lang eh. Ganon din sa Diyos. Nagiging bukas na bukas ang Espiritu mo sa Diyos. At ang Diyos naman nagbubukas ng Kanyang sarili para sa iyo. Bakit? Nagbayad ka ng presyo para makaulayo siya at masolo siya. At taglaan ka talaga ng panahon para sa Kanya. I think it's a rebuke to all of us today. Kasi wala tayong nilaan na panahon, na panahon para lamang sa Diyos. Ang aking po suggestion, pag ikaw po at ako ay uh, dadako na sa meeting place natin sa Diyos, please no cellphone, please. No distractions, please. Because time to be alone with God or time alone with God 
there should be no disturbance, no in-betweens. Kailangan you and God alone. Yan po ang tinatawag nating intimacy. Allow Him to speak. You can also speak to Him. You can also express your desires, your heart to Him. But most of the time, dal miss na miss tayo ng Diyos doon sa meeting place. Doon niya tayo kakausapin. Doon siya magkapahayag ng sa kanyang sarili. Ang sabi niya sa John chapter 14, verse 23, Those who obey my words, okay, I will manifest and reveal myself to them. And I and the Father will make him our dwelling. Mga kapatid, itong ganitong pangungusap ng Panginoong Heso Kristo, ito po ay isang pangungusap na kung saan dapat nating maranasan, hindi lamang mapakinggan. But again, it takes revelation for you to experience what you have heard. And today, the revelation already come. It came now that we need to pay the price while others are still on their bed. We got up from our bed early in the morning while still dark. Get out, left the house, and go to the place where you and God meet. At doon, doon tayo mag-pray. Ano ibig sabihin ng prayer ulit? Listening to God. Doon tayo makinig. Alam niyo ba, pag ang Diyos, di ba, sa isang mag-asawa, ba, pag nagkwentuhan na kayo, ang mga babae lang ng inyong mga asawang lalaki ay mahal na mahal niyo pag nagkwento sa inyo. Pag nagkakwento, gustong gusto mo makinig. Di ka naiinip. Ganon din sa Diyos. Jesus is the lover of our soul. The moment you hear God, the moment you learn how to listen to God, prayer will become fiery. You will become passionate. And you will become, it will be more exciting na, na ikaw ay na-excite ng gumising sa maaga while still dark. Bakit? You want to hear the voice of God. No wonder the Lord Jesus Christ ministered to the people from morning till evening. But still, umaakyat siya sa bundok para doon manalangin sa Diyos. Sa palagay niyo, Panalangin lang ang ginagawa ng Panginoon, yung katulad ng ginagawa natin. Panginoon, tulungan mo ako bukas pag ministry uli ako. Walang ganun eh. Bakit ko napatunayan? I'll prove it to you that Jesus Christ, our King, listen to the Father. Bakit? Ang sabi niya, wala akong sinasabi, kundi yaon lamang aking narir narinig sa aking amang nasa langit. Nakita niyo? Wala akong ginagawa, kundi yun lamang aking nakita na ginagawa ng aking amang sa langit. Therefore, posible, kaya nga, Christ-likeness ho ang ating destiny. That is why we will also be able to hear the voice of God. Para yun lang ang gagawin natin. Yun lang ang ating sasabihin. And we will be able to see what God is doing. Para yun lang ang gagawin natin. Hindi po napaka-exciting. Pa ang pagkiging mananampalataya ay na pakadakilang bagay na hindi kayang bayaran ng salibutan pagsama-samahin makayamanan ng mundong ito. Hindi kayang palitan. Walang maikumpara sa presensya ng Diyos at sa sinasabi at pinapakita ng Diyos sa atin. Kaya nga binabalik ng Diyos the year of restoration nag-crossover from 2022 to 2023. This is it! God is restoring the truth! Pag kayo po'y nakarinig ng katotohanan ng ito ngayong araw na ito, mapalad kayo, napakapalad ninyo. Ibig sabihin, mayroong gagawin talaga ang Diyos sa buhay mo bagat sa napakaraming pwedeng makarinig. Ikaw, ang isa sa pinili ng Diyos para marinig mo itong kapahayagang ito. Nagtsaga siyang umakyat sa bundok para makinig lang sa Diyos. Hindi niya kinapapaguran ito. Kung ministry at ministry pag-uusapan ang sabi ng Bible, libo-libo ang pumupunta at sumusunod kay Kristo. Therefore, ang sabi, dinala sa kanyang lahat na may karamdaman at silang lahat ay kanyang pinagaling. 
You can just imagine thousands of sick people. Thousands of those who are being possessed by the devil and he delivered them. Pagod yun. Remember, Jesus was a man. He became man, although he was God. So, ibig sabihin ko, anong katulad mo, katulad ko, napapagod. Saan siya nakakuha ng lakas para magministeryo ulit bukas sa presensya ng Diyos? Paano? Umakit sa langit. Umakit siya sa bundok at doon nakikinig. Nakikipag-ugnayan, nakikipag-ulayaw at nakikinig sa sinasabi ng Diyos. At yun naman ang kanyang sinasabi sa tao. Nakita niyo sa mga kapwa ko, Pastor. It is very important to hear the revelations from God, direct from God. Bunga ng ating intimacy with God. Bunga ng ating pananalangin with His prayer, listening to God. And as we preach the word to the people, then the people will be astonished. Why? Because it is no longer our word, but it is God's word hitting their very spirit, their hearts and their minds, and they will be astonished. Watch me now. Tarating ang panahon, pag tayo po, ay talagang natuto na na makinig sa Diyos sa pamagitan ng pananalangin. Makikita natin at maunawaan natin that God is now sending His message directly to His people and we are just the voice behind the message. Ang tendency ko kasi, dumarating ang punto, tayo nang gumagawa. Ito naman palagi, di ba? Mga kapwa ko, Pastor, tayong gumagawa ng mensahe. We pray to God. <laughs> We pray to God. And then, uh, meron tayong gagawing mensahe. Tapos, basa natin sa Diyos. Ginawa natin. And then, that's it. Kaya yung impact, minimal. Walang na-astonish. <laughs> meron iba na bless. Pero again, sa akin kasi, hindi na ako, hindi na ho ako after lang sa ma-bless. Hindi rin ako after sa mabuild. Ang after ako, matransform yung buhay. Pag walang transformation, ibig sabihin, hindi pa nakaabot sa taong yan ang mensahe ng Panginoon. Patawarin niyo pa ako, pero ito po yung mas malalim na dapat nating maunawaan. If people are just blessed, people are just built, and they, were, they are not transformed, hindi pa umabot sa kanila sa malalim na paraan ang minsahi ng Panginoon. But, if people are transformed, people change, and they walk according to the Word of God, then, the true, powerful message of God have reached their spirit and their lives and their hearts and minds. Mga kapatid, Nasanay tayo sa mga minsahe na mga tao na bless, na build, pero hindi na transform. Ito ho ang pinapakita na pattern ng ating Panginoon. Last verse, Matthew 14.23, after He had sent the crowds away, He went up to the mountain by Himself to pray. And when it was, it was evening, He was there alone. Napansin niyo? Hindi ang Panginoon nagbabago ng pattern. Kaya nga pinapakita niya sa atin to. He always spent, or he spent time to be alone with God, His Father. My friends, as I end, gusto ko lang sabihin, as we enter 2023, as we start 2023, let us find, create a time to be alone with God. Yan ang pattern ng Panginoong Isa Kristo. No wonder His ministry was so powerful that the, even the devil, the chief devil, Satan himself, cannot defeat him and cannot deliver his goods on him. Kaya sabi ng Panginoon, He has nothing in me. Mga kapatid ko, dapat wala tayong kargada galing sa demonyo. Pagkos mapupuno lang tayo ng salita ni Kristo. At sabi ng Colossians 3.16, Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly. How? By prayer. Bakit? Ano yung prayer? Listening to the word of God.
Magpalaan tayong lahat ng Panginoon and I pray that as we start 2023, as we start uh, our journey towards destiny, we receive accurate instructions and we have accurate understanding so that if we have accurate understanding, it we will also implement accurate execution that will lead us to a powerful results and manifestation of God's goodness and mercy. Before we declare God is good, and the people answer all the time and all the time God is good, but today we will not just declare it, but we will taste and see that the Lord is good. Your table will be filled with abundant blessing so that you will be a blessing to others. The works of your hands will be blessed by the Lord as we begin to follow the Jesus pattern of prayer where we spend time alone we get and ready to pay the price. God bless you all and your whole family. In the almighty name of Jesus Christ, this is what I decree and it will surely come to pass. In Jesus' name, amen and amen and amen. Kayo po ay mayroong mga prayer request. We are so glad and willing to pray for you. Send you lang po sa Ambassadors for Christ Church International FB page or directly na ipadala ninyo sa FB or sa messenger ng aking may bahay, Cora Bumbalis Rama. And we love to pray for you. At kung ang inyong panalangin po ay tinugon ng Panginoon, inform nyo rin po kami because we love to rejoice with you also of the goodness of God na hindi nyo lang dinideklarang God is good all the time and all the time God is good but now you taste and see that the Lord is good. Pagpalain ng Diyos ang inyong mga negosyo, pagpalain ng Diyos ang inyong pong pamilya, kalusugan, kalakasan. I decree in 2023, good health, long and satisfied life be upon you and your whole family. This is my declaration and decree in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. Shalom!
Oh,